I think, I think what we are looking at is the mythical Florida sea beast. Wow. I don't know how well you can see this, but I sure hope you can. All right, good morning, everybody. My name is Frank. This is my channel, Frank Hill Adventures. It's Wednesday morning. My friend Tom and I are on our way to Sebastian Inlet, actually just a little south of the inlet to the Pines Wreck site. Now this is to believed to be a 1715 fleet ship, but nobody's really sure. And then we're gonna work our way south a little bit to the other side of the McClarity Museum to Ambersand Beach, which is the cabin wreck site of the 1715 fleet. So we're gonna get out there, nice little drive. We'll get out there and when I get there, we'll get back to you and we'll see what's happening. Okay, we've been driving for a while now going north on a1a and coming up beyond here a little bit you can see the rise from the bridge going over the sebastian inlet now we're going to be pulling over right before that this where we're going is the last place where you can park that's got facilities okay we're getting there beyond me you'll see the sebastian inlet bridge and where we're going to go up here on the right in this parking area is the last place that has facilities before you get to the inlet. This is the area of the Pines Wreck site. It's believed to be a 1715 fleet ship, but nobody's sure. So we're going to pull in right here and we're going to set up and we're going to get started. I found artifacts here. I found an anchor shackle once and a couple of spikes. Yep, and it is an absolutely beautiful morning. All right. All right. I think I got everything together there. I got an extra battery. Got my pointer. All right. Man, it is an absolutely beautiful day. Hopefully, hopefully we'll have a little luck today. All right, buddy. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, and here we are. Looks like the tide is out a little bit. That's good. Okay, I've made it down here to the beach. Now just to the north of me, right over there is the Sebastian Inlet. And to the south of me, a few hundred yards, is the McClarity Museum. And beyond that, just a little bit, is Amber Sand Beach, which is the site of the cabin wreck site of the 1715 fleet. But we're here. So I'm going to get started, put a coil to the soil, and see if I can't find some treasure. I'll get back to you on my first target. All right. Well, I found a target. It's not ringing very good. I think it's a piece of foil. I think it's just a piece of foil. I think I saw it. And that's what it was, a piece of can, a piece of a tin can. Oh well. That's the name of the game. On to the next. Okay, I got a little bit of a target here. It's ringing at a 53 on my Garrett. It's probably a pull tab or a piece of aluminum, about six inches deep. But, I've got to try. So let's see what we got. Oh, 
Okay. It says it's out of the hole. And that's what it is. Some ancient piece of eat up aluminum. Oh well, that's what it's all about. If you're not looking, you're not finding. All right, on to the next. You found anything? I got two targets, man. That was it, and they were both aluminum, little aluminum fragments. Yeah, I had uh, those uh, rolled up. Package. Like... Yeah. All right. We'll work a little while longer and I guess go back south. Okay. Well, we've been at it for quite a while now. And so far, all we found is a few aluminum shards. So we're going to pack it up, head south to Amber Sand. Okay. We are southbound now, going down towards Amber Sand Beach, which is the cabin wreck site, again, of the 1715 fleet. And we'll be going by the McClarity Museum. Now this is the McClarity Museum. 1715 Survivor's Camp Marker. I don't know if I've told you this before. But it's not only a state park, but it's a historical site. And you are in no way, shape, or form allowed to use a metal detector a thousand feet north of that area or south of that area. They've got cameras, and if they catch you, they will be on your case. It's not worth it. So, okay, we're going to go on down to Amber Sand Beach, which I think is not too far, so we want to be real careful here. Not too far at all. And here we are. Again, this is Amber Sand Beach. Now, there's no facilities here. All you have is a beach access and again, a few hundred yards to the north is the McClarity Museum. But this is the site of the cabin wreck of the 1715 fleet. Now, in this general area was Kip Wagner's cabin back in the 60s when he made his discoveries. So, okay, we're going to get out to it and hit the beach, see if we have any better luck here. absolutely beautiful okay there's something in the water here I don't know what that is but we're going to take a very very close look I don't know what that is but we're going to look I've got a feeling we got a rare opportunity I want to make sure I'm going to get right down there so you can see this I'm not sure what this is, but we want to take a very close look. I think, I think what we are looking at is the mythical Florida sea beast. Wow. I don't know how well you can see this, but I sure hope you can.
far out. Wow, what a sight. Okay, I've walked a little further down the beach chasing after them and managed to get myself pretty wet. But we're getting a little bit better look now. And I think we're looking at three of them. Wow. Absolutely wow. Tom! Tom! You seeing this? Those are not manatees. Those are not manatees. When I first came up on the shore, they were just right there. I got wet, man. I went out there chasing after them, trying to get a better look. I've seen them one time before, about four years ago, up by the inlet. I saw one. far out all right well that was a sight i think with this i'm going to get set up and see if i can find some treasure although i've already gotten pretty damn lucky for today well that was pretty exciting been on the beach for a few minutes now doing a little treasure hunt and haven't found anything going north right now hopefully we'll get lucky but like i said so far i already have gotten lucky that was a very possibly a very 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 rare sighting they've been profiled on several monster shows on tv very elusive beast they just don't look like manatees they're longer certainly more agile what an exciting sight now if I can just find some treasure goodies on the beach, my day will be absolutely complete. Okay, I don't know how well you can see this. I've hiked it a little further north. You can see that little boat out there. It's a treasure boat. Somebody's out there doing a little wreck diving. All I can say is that there's plenty of it out there and I wish them luck. everybody i think that's going to wrap it up we're tired been out here for a while except for that possible cryptid sighting we didn't see anything but it was fun so until next time click like and subscribe we'll see y'all later and if you would leave a comment below about what you think the sea creatures was i'd be excited to hear that all right well thank you again you all take care on the way home from ambersand we took a wrong turn and decided to come on up a1a and stop off at Humiston Park, which is just north of the Rio Mar wreck site. Now some of the accesses are closed, but I think we found a way into the beach. Now, you wouldn't realize it, and a lot of people don't, but this is actually a prime treasure spot. Again, it's just a few hundred yards north of the Rio Mar wreck site. And it's a real nice family beach, so maybe if nothing else, we'll find some tourist bling. I don't know. But we're here, and again, it's a beautiful day. So we'll see what we can find. I'll get back to you if I get a target. All right, I got my first 
real target of the day. Might be a quarter or something, but it's a target. Okay, it took some digging, but I think I got it out, and there it is, right that quick. Oh well, nice little Hot Wheels car. I'll find some kid out here to give that to. Oh well, get this covered up, on to the next. I don't know, Tom, you got something there, it's deep. It's reading like a coin. I got a scoop, I'll try to dig it up. All right, well, whatever it is, whatever it is, I think I got it out of the hole. It uh, kept changing. Yeah. It's out of the hole. All right, I got it in a scoop. I thought I had it in a scoop. Is that what it is? A little piece of iron, yeah. painted iron. Who knows what that is? That was a big hit on you. Yeah, it was ringing good. They do that in the salt. And then you, I kind of joke about it. You break the crust because it leaches out into the sand. And then when you break that crust, the target's gone. It, it, it'll ring different. Oh, well, we're trying. We've been out here for a little while now, and I think we're both starting to get really gassed out. So I think at this point, we're both going to call it quits. Outside of that little toy car and a couple iron fragments, we didn't find anything. but it was worth a try. So thanks for watching.